Welcome to Morning Prayer with St. Francis on Thursday, February 16th, in commemoration of Martin Luther. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, open our lips. And our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Glory, Glory to, to the Father, and to the, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, is, is now, and is, will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Be joyful, be joyful to the Lord, Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come, come before, before his, his presence with a song. Know, know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us, and we are his. And we are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. The Psalms Give thanks to the Lord and call upon God's name. Make known the deeds of the Lord among the people. Sing to the Lord, sing praises, and speak of all God's marvelous works. Glory in God's holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Search for the Lord and the strength of the Lord. Continually seek the face of God. Remember the marvels <clears throat> God has done, the wonders and the judgments of God's mouth. O offspring of Abraham, God's servant. O children of Jacob, God's chosen. The Lord is our God, whose judgments prevail in all the world. The Lord has always been mindful of the covenant, the promise made for a thousand generations. The covenant made with Abraham, the oath sworn to Isaac. Which God established as a statute for Jacob, an everlasting covenant for Israel. Saying, To you will I give the land of Canaan to be your allotted inheritance. When they were few in number, of little account, and sojourners in the land, wandering from nation to nation, and from one realm to another. God let no one oppress them, and rebuked rulers for their sake, saying, Do not touch my <clears throat> anointed, and do my prophets no harm. Then the Lord called for a famine in the land, and destroyed the supply of bread. The Lord sent a man before them, <clears throat> Joseph, who was sold as a slave. They bruised his feet with fetters. His neck they put in an iron collar. Until his prediction came to pass, the word of the Lord tested him. The king sent and released him. The ruler of the peoples set him free. He set him as a master over his household, as a ruler over all his possessions to instruct his princes according to his will, and to teach his elders wisdom. Glory, Glory to, to the Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. I was ready to be sought out by those who did not ask, to be found by those who did not seek me, I said, Here I am, here I am, to a nation that did not call on my name. I held out my hands all day long to a rebellious people who walk in a way that is not good, following their own devices, a people who provoke me to my face continually, sacrificing in gardens and offering incense on bricks, who sit in tombs and spend the night in secret places, who eat swine's flesh with broth of abominus, abominable things in their vessels, who say, Keep to yourself, do not come near me, for I am too holy for you. These are a smoke in my nostrils, a fire that burns all day long. See, it is written before me, I will not Keep silent, but I will repay. I will indeed repay into their laps their iniquities and their ancestors' iniquities together, says the Lord, because they 
off offered incense on the mountains and reviled me on the hills. I will measure into their laps full payment for their actions. Thus says the Lord, as the wine is found in the cluster, and they say, Do not destroy it, for there is a blessing in it, so I will do for my, saver, my servants' sake, and not destroy them all. I will bring forth descendants from Jacob and from Judah, inheritors of my mountains, my chosen shall inherit it, and my servants shall settle there. Sharon shall become a pasture for flocks, and the valley of Anchor a place for herds to lie down, for my people who have sought me. But you who forsake the Lord, who forget my holy mountain, who set a table for fortune, and fill cups of mixed wine for destiny, I will destine you for the sword, and all of you shall bow down before the slaughter. Because when I called, you did not answer. When I spoke, you did not listen. But you did what was evil in my sight and chose what I did not delight in. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. The Canticle Where pain does not touch you, where hurt does not make its home, where despair does not haunt you, where sorrow does not dwell, where disease does not possess you, where death does not abide, where horror does not hold you, where fear does not raise its head, where your wounds become doorways, where your scars become sacred maps, where tears become pools of gladness, where delight attends your way where every kindness you have offered returns to you, where every blessing that you have given makes its way back to you, where every grace gathers round you, where the face of love mirrors your gaze. Where you are, what the light shines through. A reading from the Gospel according to Mark. Then they sent to Jesus some Pharisees, and some Herodians to trap him in what he said. And they came and said to him, Teacher, we know that you are sincere and show deference to no one, for you do not regard people with partiality, but teach the way of God in accordance with truth. Is it lawful to pay taxes to the emperor or not? Should we pay them or should we not? But knowing their hypocrisy, he said to them, Why are you putting me to the test? Bring me a denarius, and let me see it. And they brought one. And he said to them, Whose head is this, and whose title? They answered, The emperor's. Jesus said to them, Give to the emperor the things that are the emperor's, and to God the things that are God's and they were utterly amazed at him. Some Sadducees, who say there is no res resurrection, came to him and asked him a question, saying, Teacher, Moses wrote for us that if a man's brother dies, leaving a wife but no child, a man shall marry the widow and raise up children for his brother. There were seven brothers, the first married, and when he died, left no children. And the second married her and died, leaving no children. And the third likewise. None of the seven left children. Last of all, the woman herself died. In the resurrection, whose wife will she be? For the seven had married her. Jesus said to them, is not this the reason you are wrong, that you know neither the scriptures nor the power of God? For when they rise from the dead, they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are like angels in heaven. And as for the dead being raised, have you not read in the book of Moses, in the story about the bush, how God said to him, I am the God of Abraham the God of Isaac, 
and the God of Jacob. He is not, he, he is God not of the dead, but of the living. You are quite wrong. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Though in the form of God, Christ Jesus did not cling to equality with God, but, but emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, and was born in human likeness. Being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God has highly exalted him and given him the name above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And, and every, every tongue confess that what Jesus Christ, Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Father. The Apostles' Creed. I believe, I believe in God, the Father, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The prayers. The Lord be with you. And, and also, also with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and, and grant us your, your salvation. salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness, and let, let your people, people sing with joy. joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care, and, and guide, guide us in the way of justice and truth. truth. Let your way be known upon earth your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. O God, our refuge and our strength, you raised up your servant Martin Luther to reform and renew your church in the light of your word. Defend and purify the church in our own day, and grant that through faith we may boldly proclaim the riches of your grace, which you have made known in Jesus Christ our Savior, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. O God, the King Eternal, whose light divides the day from the night, who turns the shadow of death into the morning, Drive far from us all wrong desires. Incline our hearts to keep your law and guide our feet into the way of peace. That having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The intercessions to, for today but should keep in mind the Many people that have struggled or been impacted by COVID, uh, for the people of, of Ukraine and their struggle for freedom, uh, for the people who are impacted by the recent uh, gun violence in Michigan, and in thanksgiving for the plentiful snow and rain we've had this winter and, and, we, and our hopes for more. Ever living God, whose will it is that all should come to you through your Son, Jesus Christ, inspire our witness to him, that all may know the power of his forgiveness and the hope of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, Father, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, 
give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen.